Hello, I'm Mike and in this video I will show you Expressionista, which is a tool for After Effects that makes it really easy for you to inject uh, expressions to multiple layers. Uh, let me show you. So first in After Effects you just load expression, Expressionista uh, like any other script. Just locate the script file and just open it and you will have uh, the Expressionista uh, UI shown to you. So it's really easy to understand, but I'll walk you through it. So first off, uh, you'll see that uh, in this composition, uh, there's only a lot of shape layers uh, of spheres and cubes, as you can see, and there's nothing applied to them. So let's say, for example, that I want to have a sim simple wiggle motion to them. So what I would want to do is just apply a simple wiggle expression to the position property, for example. So you can do that with Expressionista. So in the UI, again, uh, you go down to the, the expression input first and just type in your expression. And for our sake, we'll go with uh, the wiggle expression, like a really easy, easy expression. Uh, and then you also have to uh select what property you want to apply the the wiggle or the well any expression uh to and uh let's just start with the position to try it out and when you've done that you also have to select all the layers in the composition that you want to apply the expression to once you've done that just hit the inject button and you'll have the uh, successful message displayed here and you will see here that all the layers will have the wiggle expression applied to it. We can also check this by double tapping the U button. And here you can see in the uh, position uh, property, you will see the, the wiggle expression applied to every single layer here. Like so. This also works from the opposite direction, right? Let's say you have an expression uh, set to the position uh, property, but you want to clear it out for every single layer. Then the same thing, just have all of the, the uh, layers selected, and uh, then you just have the property you want to clear out, and then just hit the clear button. And you'll see that all the expressions on the, that property will be uh, cleared. And we can also check this by double tapping the U button again. And you'll see on the position property, there will be nothing as expected. And this also works if you want to apply uh, an expression to, diff uh, to multiple different uh, properties. So the same thing, just have the layer selected. And uh, instead of just having one property, you just uh, select multiple ones. And the same thing just hit the inject button and you'll see that you'll have the wiggle expression uh, applied to the position scale opacity and rotation uh, property and the same thing goes for just uh, clearing it out something else that's uh, pretty cool is that let's say you have a lot of layers and uh, you only want the the wiggle expression uh, applied to the sphere layers, for example. So that's why we have the filter input here. So what you want to do, uh, and this is perfect if you have your composition, uh, your, your comp uh, naming organized well. So you can, we know that uh, we only want to apply to all the sphere layers and for all the sphere layers, they, they are named with a suffix underscore sphere. So let's just do that right in underscore sphere so what it will do is just match the the name uh, if it contains uh, the whatever you write in the filter and if it does then apply the the uh, the expression so let's try that let's see what happens like so and now if we play this you'll see that uh, only the sphere layers will have the expression applied to it the same thing also goes for clearing it, clearing it out. Uh, let's clear that. So let's try and put the uh, expression on every single layer again. And uh, let's see that all the layers, oh, uh, all the layers. All right, 
perfect. All the layers have the expression again. But we uh, this time only want to clear out the uh, the sphere uh, properties. So we can do this again by just writing sphere, and the same thing will go here. That it will try and match the the sphere name, and only do that for the sphere um, for the sphere layers. So let's clear this out, and you will see now that only the uh, cubes will have the expression still left on it. But what if you already have a bunch of scripts that are that are pre-written in the files that you want to use? You can do that as well. So in Expressionista, you just push the file button and just locate whatever whatever script you want to use. And in our sake, I have a uh, predefined uh, wiggle expression uh, that's similar to the ones that we have already used. Just load that and can just show you how the script looks like. Looks like this, so it's pretty simple, uh, nothing extraordinary with it. So let's put that away again. And now what you have to do is just uh, what we did before. We just want to have our layers selected and our property and then just hit the inject button. And you'll have the same effect. Uh, and we can also double check that by double tap tapping again and you will see that we have the exact uh, same expression uh, injected as our script file. Let's go back to that. And also something that's, that's really important to know is that once you have a file loaded, that, that will be used uh, or override whatever expression you have written in the expression input. Uh, so that's good to know. Uh, and now, if, and if you want to go back to to writing your own expression in the input, then you just uh, clear the file and you will use the input again. Something else that could be quite useful as well is that you can toggle the expression on and off without actually clearing out the expression property. So let's say, for example, uh, if we just double tap the uh, layers again, and here you'll see that we have all of these uh, expressions applied, right? So what you can do now is just you can just toggle it on and off, and you can see that now it's off, now it's on, but you still have the expression left in the property. So here's a different uh, comp. I wanted to show you how it can work with a different script, just to show you a different use case. So I have prepared a different uh, script that I can show you. So what this script will do if you apply it to a, uh, as an expression to a property, it will look at uh, the uh, uh, the layer beneath it uh, through the index and then it will copy the value of the uh, scale that it currently has and then it will apply it to to itself and uh, but it will also offset it uh, a little bit so let's see how that looks like Side a little bit. And okay, so first off, let's load this script file. And there we have that one. And just press OK. And I already did already prepared the uh, first layer here with some keyframes as you can see. Like uh, super fancy animation. So okay, so let's see. Okay, so what we might want to do is just loop this one uh, first. Loop. Okay, perfect. Let's see how that looks like. Okay, great. So, uh, now then, so we have the uh, uh, script file loaded in, and then let's just select all the layers uh, besides the, uh, the first one, because we don't want the script to actually be wiped out, uh, or we, we don't want to inject whatever's in this script file onto the first layer. So then we just hit the uh, 
and just make sure this the skill property is selected and then just hit the inject button okay so can deselect everything and just see the results so if you are comfortable with the expressions in After Effects, you can really do some powerful things. And also having a tool like Expressionista, it makes it really easy to, to apply uh, expressions on a large amount of layers. Okay, so here's a third example, uh, something that's probably more related to, to the VFX industry or if maybe if you work with animated films. So what I've done here is just that I made a, like, like a really simple scene with some uh, lights on it. So in this scene, uh, what I want to show you is how you can use expressions to, to uh, work with uh, VFX or uh, animated films. Something that's really common is that you uh, render out the different light sources in different layers uh, so you can tweak them or do whatever you want in, in post without having to re-render everything uh, as soon as you want to make a change. Uh, so what I did here uh, was something really simple is that I have a, a beauty pass of the mech and then I have uh, uh, some of the the lighting layers separated uh, and this is just one static image uh, and then uh, there's a wiggle expression uh, injected into the opacity of it and what you can see is the result of uh, the fire lighting uh, illustrating the flickering uh, on the, the robot yeah, so this is a really simple scene, but imagine like a much bigger scene than this, where you have tons of layers that could be uh, different effects, different lighting, different uh, whatever, and you have uh, expression that helps you along the way in your pipeline. Uh, Expressionista can help you with it, uh, so you don't have to manually green and tweak stuff. You can just use the tool to quickly just apply clear or do, do whatever you want uh, to uh, lots of layers and with this you will save tons of time doing it uh, with the tool uh, so yeah that's how it works it's really easy to use um, I will have where it's available down in the description so just you know check it out and if you try it out and have feedback or if you have uh, any thoughts just feel free to reach out and uh, yeah have a good one.